Public Radio. Whoa, Lightning Stalker here this again. With you until five oh, this time I've from. got a, a little tip, handy tip about how to open up these these little wall wart power supplies. A lot of times you need a power supply for your for your circuits and you need something that doesn't have much power and that doesn't take up a lot of space but the the wall word as it is unmodified will uh, will not quite be what you need so you gotta open it up and modify it and usually you end up using a screwdriver and it, it goofs up the uh, the seam and it looks real ugly but over the years I have developed a technique that I'm going to show you how to avoid that and this one has been opened and you can see that 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 seam is perfectly clean there's no no gouges or anything in there and uh, just to prove that it's been opened I'll open it up it's, it's really tight there's a transformer in there so what you do is you take a nice heavy duty knife nice straight knife that's uh, that's got nice thick metal and I like this one because it's got a really flat edge on it on the back where you can where you can hammer on and then you take a hammer which I have put somewhere else and I forgot where but I can still show you what to do you just put the blade of that knife right on that line where it comes apart and uh, you hit it with the hammer pretty 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 hard sometimes you gotta hit it and you you hit it on each side hit it on on all four four sides this side this side do the same thing lay it in that crack there and do that on all four sides until you can pull it apart and you can tell that it's loose sometimes you'll hear a popping sound but not always but uh, once you get two sides done you'll know cuz it'll you'll be able to wiggle it a little bit and uh, it'll it'll usually just just fall right apart uh, no problem and uh, it's really easy to do it this way here's another one this is a cell phone charger uh, these are real handy this is this is a switching power supply tiny little switching power supply really light and the output is regulated this is really good for running like little microcontroller circuits stuff that, that's really low power uh, I, I just opened it up because I wanted to see I wanted to look at the circuit in there maybe draw a schematic or or whatever or if you need to do a nice clean cord replacement you just can unsolder it right from here this is 
that's that's one of the main things that you'll you'll use this for is because the cord your your dog or your cat or your hamster will take the cord and and chew it all up next thing you know it, it doesn't work so you gotta open it up uh, or sometimes the end plug is is not the plug you need and you've got a, a plug on another another wall wart that that's the right plug uh, so in order to do a nice clean transplant you you pop pop them open unsolder the cords and uh, take the cord you want and then solder it back on and then you have a nice clean factory looking uh, termination on your your plug and you didn't have you don't have to go out and buy a new new plug to uh, to solder on the end and your old cord is reusable too if you gotta reuse that uh, I get these in the garbage a lot or at Goodwill or Salivation Army uh, and they're pretty handy for little things so I hope I hope you found this a little helpful uh, so have a nice day